Okay, we'll start off with Scott Wilson. Yeah, it was, a, it was a difficult afternoon. I think the players have done so well to keep going in what was a very um, congested period of games with very hard fixtures for us. When you go back to looking sort of back to Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United, Bournemouth, you know, that run of games was very difficult fixtures. And then we've just Everton and Tottenham away in a very short period of time. Um, we haven't been at our best. I think that's very evident for everybody to see. I think the players are given everything, uh, everything that they could give. So I have to back them and support them, but acknowledge that uh, our performance is way off what it could be. It is, but it's, it's, uh, of course, you want to make changes that benefit the team, not make changes that, that don't benefit the team. So I've got to try and make those decisions and get them right. Um, so, yeah, I've been sort of backed into a very difficult position with the team selection and even in game uh, decisions, because today it would have been very easy to see, oh, you've got Callum and Sean, put them on the pitch, but, you know, that they're... they're they're not 100% fit, so I've, I've got to be very careful even with them. So thankfully they came through. I thought their performances were very good when they came on, and that's a, a big positive for us today. Um, but yeah, we're in a difficult position at the minute. OK, Dom Skirt and then George Colkin. Dom? Well, I think they'd be better for today. Um, that was a good 30 minutes for them. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to take it game by game. It, it's a difficult one to predict for Wednesday. What do you feel the fact that we're behind today when we Well, as I said, if I make changes, I want to make changes that benefit the team. Um, everyone that I picked today wanted to play, felt able to play, no issues. Um, but of course, yes, I understand the backlog and the fatigue that can build. But we don't have abundance of options, so I, I don't know. Of course, we have a, a couple of senior professionals, but yeah, d difficult to make changes to a team that has performed so well as well. You know, you think we beat Arsenal, we beat Chelsea, um, we beat Manchester United, and that was only two games ago. Yeah, it's a huge blow for us, Kieran's. As I said after the Everton game is a standard, um, the standard for us really in terms of how you, to get a level, consistent performance. Um, we're going to miss his quality. George and then Luke. Hi. It, it, it must affect the way that you play. It, intensity is so much part of what you do. You can't make changes either between games or, or during, during games. Maybe it's like, it must actually affect the way you, you play. Well, I think it probably has in the last two games, yeah. Um, but that's not through the players not wanting to give. I think they've wanted to give. They just probably haven't been able to. That still doesn't mean you can't win football matches and pick up results. Um, but you have to do things differently and you have to be a bit cuter in certain positions. We've conceded a lot of goals in two games that, um, you know, we'd pride ourselves on defending those situations better than we did. And we, we only have ourselves to blame for that. So certainly a lot of an analysis uh, on our defensive work today. OK, Luke. Yeah, I think that's a fair... I can't argue with that um, assessment. It's up to us to find the answers to that. Um, yeah, I feel that's... You know, I, I can't defend it. I, I can't defend it, so I won't. Um, just, uh, there's been quite a bit of said stuff on TV two games about the Romero tackle on Wilson. Have you got a view on that? Yeah, only a live one. I don't want to see players sent off. Unless it's dangerous, you might tell me. You've got a clear view on it. It looked high, it looked reckless, and I'm very pleased that Callum seemed to um, not be affected by it. OK, on the front? Yeah, OK. John? Yeah, I'll, I'll just ask what you said about, um, about the Romero one. Because obviously you've got so many injuries to put him on. You must be heartless to bring him in the 
Well, it, yeah, I think th all through the game, when a player goes down, you, you're, I mean, Fabian went down early in the match and you're fearing the worst. We can't afford any more injuries to the players that we have fit. We need more players back. Um, so hopefully that will be the case in the next few weeks. Yeah, we're going to have to. And even today, the game could have been very different. You know, we start well. Anthony goes through on the left-hand side. I'm not actually too sure because I haven't seen it again, what happened with the cross. But football is a game decided on big moments. And we haven't been right in those big moments the last two matches. Previous to that, we have been. And I think our away form will, will turn because I think we're a, a very good team. But we need to continue with our good home form. That's the bedrock of what we've been doing. So... No, we don't want anything to affect that. Okay. Tom Barclay? No. Yeah, I don't know where we stand injury-wise after the game. I've come straight to see you. Sorry, Tom. I think that's something we've tried to do this season. I think we have to, whether we win, lose or draw, because if you dwell in a positive moment you lose focus for the next match if you dwell in a negative moment exactly the same so uh, we have to part the game quickly but we have to take the lessons from it and um, we have to we as staff we will analyze the game as normal and you know, pick things we need to do better okay second row just behind you Um, I don't think there's a fear. I think we, we've been quite clear <coughs> Excuse me, on how we want to play, how we want the players to execute our game plans. Um, and we do it with the fit bodies that we have. I don't, I don't think we can live like that. But, of course, we're looking the other way. We're looking for players to come back. So a big lift today with the two lads that did come back. And hopefully there's more to come. OK. Uh, Lee Ryder, then Kieran. Um, <clears throat> I think Tino's been excellent at left back um, and Kieran's got his obvious qualities at right back so that would be the reason and Lewis when he comes on has to perform well well when he's part of your your biggest attacking threat every week yeah he's a very difficult one to miss out and even today he had his moments where um, he produced some really good crosses, especially in the second half. He's just an outstanding technician, and uh, we will certainly miss him against Fulham. Is it a case of just getting these players back now, or do you really have to look at January and think we do perhaps need to do some losses? As I've said many times, we, we need to uh, assess the squad. So we've had got two players back, that gives the squad a different complexion. Um, and if we get more back, again, that will add... Um, real options to my decision making in terms of who I play uh, so January uh, still at the moment is unclear um, no, no not, not currently he's not one of the closest players okay. Kieran to finish there's always anger in me when we lose um, and that will never change if it does that's a worry for me <clears throat> yeah, of course, we're always looking to bounce back. Now we go into a different competition, so the, the focus will be, just be on another big game. I think we've got used to that this season. Um, I think the players have got used to that rhythm of just playing playing games with very minimal rest. Um, but this is going to be a big, another big test because you've got the high of the Champions League and then we very quickly then have to refocus on Fulham. But all we can do is take the next challenge on. Yeah, we will. We need the crowd in the next group of games because uh, these have been two tough experiences and you've seen how the home crowd can affect. We've seen that countless times at St James's Park and we're going to need that in our favour this time. Thanks, everyone. For those attending, the pre-Milan press conference will be 4 o'clock Tuesday at St James's Park. Thank you. Thank you.